thieves, eh? Bring me that Welcome back everyone, I'm Shinigami Tapris, and we're going to be doing a little bit of Sailing of the Seas. Um, we got a Corb with us, I think, already? Yeah, you do. Um, yeah. Is, is my mic okay? Yeah, your mic's fine. I heard like, it a... like it was overly sensitive, so I was just double checking. Yeah, I heard a hum earlier, but everything sounds good now. So, we got story time, because yesterday we didn't stream, uh, and the reason we didn't stream was I got home so fucking late from hockey that it was sort of pointless. Um, oh shit, is that cat? <laughs> and to further... Uh, Put that into perspective. We uh, we played a like I think it was like three games of Halo, and that's it. Like three matches. Uh, I wish we would have streamed them because we had some pretty interesting matches. But say la vie. Um. Anyways, story time for hockey. We've got so Saturday's hockey was just basic hockey there's nothing really to say about it um i had two uh games where i was a linesman but today today my good friends i had two games of uh i think it was u12 um where i was the official and you would think that U12 would be uh, fairly Ooh, simplistic mature. to uh, officiate and not, like, have all sorts of crazy bullshit happen in it. But no, no, you are very wrong. So wrong. Um, so, the... F I had two games. The second game, we're just going to get the second game over with. It was simplistic. So simplistic. Uh, that, like, it was an all-girls uh, team versus a co-ed team. Um, and the all-girls team won. But, you know, that... And, and, and the all-girls team was a lot better coached. Uh, they obvious, like, it, it was interesting watching 12-year-olds actually, like, perform proper hockey plays. Uh, because it was so, watching it, it's so slow compared to watching the NHL do it. So, like, you see it happening and you're like, oh, wow. Here's something I found on the web. Computer, stop. 
I don't even know why the fuck she like everything's just not working right today this week. Big, my phone's Bixby has been going off for no fucking reason lately. It's been driving me nuts. Anyways, um so they they did these like really good plays. It was it was fun to watch it and fun to riff it is the only way to word it. Uh, but game one, game one, <laughs> um, game one can suck the biggest, mightiest dick you've ever heard about. Um, not bad. I, I've already told you. Oh, is this the one with the uh, yeah? Yep. Okay. Um. So again, to hide the uh, teams, we're just going to call them by their mascot names. Um, we have the Bulls versus the Bears. Uh, the Bulls are the team, uh, and people have heard me talk about it before, their city, because these are these are teams out of different cities, their city has stiffed me pay and everything else. I, I, I hate working for them. Um, but I'm not in their city. They've come to my city and they're playing in my city. Uh, my city is hosting like a small little round robin thing. And um, the Bulls are playing the Bears in this little round robin. Uh, the Bulls... In the first period, have there's there's a point where the Bears take a shot on net, the Bulls goaltender covers it, uh, but he's slow to cover it, and he was slow to cover like he, so much so that like two of the goals he goes I had it covered and I'm like no kid you didn't that's how slow you are to cover like you need to move faster as a goaltender but slow to cover it. Because he's slow to cover it, the Bears rush in, and they don't do anything. They don't hit him. They don't, like, they just rush in and do what they're supposed to do. Uh, one of them takes a swat at the puck, and as he takes the swat at the puck, the goaltender covers it, which, of course, the Bulls take offense to. These are 12-year-olds again, 12-year-olds. Uh, one of the kids on the Bulls team grabs the bear kid that took a swat at the puck by the head and puts him in a headlock. I, of course, take very offense to this, as that is very much against the rules. Uh, and I promptly tell him to let him go, and I already know that I'm going to give him a penalty. As soon as he lets him go, another Bulls player uh, had taken two to three strides and basically cross-checked the kid that just got out of the headlock. So now I've got two players. Uh, one of them, the head, the, the headlock, uh, instigates the fact that he should get a two-minute minor penalty with a ten-minute misconduct for uh, it, it all all head contact and that's what it's called is head contact all head contact penalties come with a uh 10 minute misconduct because it's a dangerous play so we have the two and ten and then just a regular two minute cross checking uh as i go to tell the coach that he needs to put another player in the box to serve the two minute because the one kid has to sit out for 12 minutes uh, because he has to start out to serve his two minutes before he can serve his 10 minute misconduct. Um, the uh, coach gets a little upset. He doesn't say anything right then. He waits till play starts with me sitting and standing in front of his bench to basically start berating me on the fact that that was an uncalled for uh, penalty and that uh, his kid didn't deserve a 2 and 10 for the fact that, and I was like, it's a head, it's a headlock. 
you have your arms wrapped around another guy's head. And he's like, well, he wouldn't have done that if uh, you would have taken control of the scrum beforehand. And I'm like, dude, what? And he's like, he keeps going and going and going. Basically, and I'm telling him, like, I, and I've turned, and like, I didn't turn because play's going. And I just, I, I basically make a motion to stop. Like, you should stop everything you're doing. Um, what does he do? He keeps going. Uh, so at this point, I've given him his warning. So the next thing is to give the coach a two minute, uh, uh, abusive official is the, the, the ruling. Um, it's also called an unsportsmanlike. And it's unsportsmanlike abuse of the official is the full talk there. The coach instantly shuts up once he realizes, oh shit, I just put another player in the box. So now we've got three. Three in the box. Well, four if you count the, the kid sitting for his ten minutes. Um, four kids in the box. We start playback. Uh, as, right before we start play, I already start to hear the parents, like, sort of chirping. And the Bulls' parents are known for chirping. So much so that, uh, I've ejected numerous, and I do mean numerous, Bulls' parents from games for the past, I think, four years. Uh, it's part of, it, it's another one of the reasons, other than them stiffing me money, it's another one of the reasons I don't like going and roughing where the Bulls, I can easily drive to where the Bulls play. I don't like roughing them because, one, they owe me money. Two, their parents are shitheads. Well, I ignore the first couple of chirps. There is another penalty that occurs. And this time it is just a roughing call where a kid fully extends his arms and throws another kid to the ground. Um, they actually threw him into the boards with fully extended arms, but it wasn't enough to deserve a boarding call. It was, you know, very minor, but you still can't extend your arms and gain possession of the puck. Uh, and the key word to that oh, is gaining... What was that? What would that call be then if it's on boarding? Roughing. What does it say? Would that be roughing? Yep. So, boarding is forcefully driving someone into the boards. Or driving them head first into the boards. So if the kid, even if it was just with the like arms extended, the kid would have gone head first in the boards. That would have still been a boarding call. Um... But due to the fact it was, they were just, you know, both side by side and right next to the boards already, and he fully extended his arms in the attempt of removing the kid from the puck, it's just a roughing call. Uh, this is also a league that's not allowed to check, so, like, even if you don't want to go with roughing, you can go with checking. My arm goes up for the penalty. I hear the parents start to go ape shit. Uh, as soon as I blow the whistle, I announce what the penalty is going to be, and I hear the parents, uh, go, he's been, he's just butt hurt, uh, and had his feelings hurt, and now he's taking it out on the kids. And I have heard this before from the Bulls, uh, not the parents, from the Bulls coaches, where the coaches claimed I was taking it out on the kids for the parents' behavior. Uh, there were also some other choice words of, uh, he's a fucking idiot and something else. Uh, and I heard all of it, and it's different people, it's not one person. If it was one person, I would figure out who that was and just make a nice example of them. But no, no, well, it's like four to five. Listen. At least this point, you you know for a fact you couldn't have heard the phrase "Hey ref, put the fucking crayons down," because <laughs> because you were fucking calling them all. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I basically put it to myself of like, well, one, 
it's uncalled for. Uh, two, there is a big precedence this year about abusive officials from parents and coaches that it's not supposed to happen. So the precedence that USA Hockey wants is to eject parents. So I start ejecting parents. And since I don't know who it is, I just eject the whole crowd for that team. And it was. you. There was a dividing line where you could see where the Bears players are, uh, parents are sitting and the Bulls parents. And I said, everyone on this side, you've got to go. And they looked at me like I was an idiot. And they continued to say choice words. And I'm like, that's exactly why you are all leaving. All of you will leave. And I even had, and I said, because they wouldn't move, I turned to the scorekeeper, uh, the timekeeper, and I told the timekeeper to start the clock. Uh, <laughs> press F to pay respects. Mm -hmm. Um, so we start the clock and I tell the parents, you, this clock will run until you leave. AKA, I don't care if the game, if, if you run out the whole game, because right now it's a tie game. It'll go down as a tie. Do not give a shit. Um, and actually what ends up happening is once we get to the uh, end of a period, uh, I then suspend the game until the parents leave, slash, if they don't leave, I forfeit the game to the other team's favor. Nice. Um, eventually the parents... Act like petulant children. Yep. So eventually the parents do leave, uh, but we still have stragglers that don't want to leave. And I look up and I see them in their wonderful bulls attire, and I go, you, you have to go too. And they are like, what? And I'm like, I don't care. I don't know who it was. And I'm not going to put up with anybody being up there from that side. And I'm not going to listen to any of you. You leave. He even, the other stragglers eventually leave. I don't have to hear anything from the parents anymore. It's great. Because the Bears' parents were already cordial. Uh, even when the Bears got penalties... The parents weren't assholes. And that was the first period. The game continued. Um, and there were a couple of more penalties that were given out to both teams. But nothing as bad as the, like, head contact that started the whole, like, shenanigans. Um. Let's talk golf. And, like I said, I have heard the coaches of the Bulls team more than once say, Oh, you, you're taking it out on our kids. Uh, for our parents. Well, all of the kids' penalties were definitely not due to the parents. Since there were no parents to uh, say that they were causing problems. No, it's not the parents causing them to fucking put the kid into a fucking headlock either. Yeah, well, that... Possibly. Um, that's just a crock of shit. I mean, if if the kid is not taught right, whether it's coach oh, or parents, oh yeah, definitely. I still think. Well, I, yeah, this because because it's probably, it's probably both. Because it's mean. it's an unsafe act. Grabbing somebody by the head, uh, you fucking snap someone's neck, dude. Yes. Uh, so fucking watch them die right in front of their face on an on accident. Um, so I got a mission down, and I've also thrown down a uh, dagger on a uh, emissary that goes with that mission. Sweet. Oh, we got a reaper on now. They weren't on earlier. Uh. 
do we want a target? Are they, I was gonna say, what level are they is the question. One, they're over at Devil's Ridge. Okay, we're good then. For now we are. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm gonna the fucking vaults over there. Um, Dude, why the fuck is my mouse thing? Son of a bitch. Mouse dying? There we go. No, no my mouse was fucking, like the cursor was actually showing up on top of the fucking thing. I was like, why? So I had this white arrow just floating in the middle of my screen. And I was still able to move. But yeah, dude, that shit's fucked up. Well, so here's the other thing. Uh, the I, I officiate for USA Hockey, but my region has its own, like, hockey association slash league. And the league that they are in this year was proposing, and I don't remember if they, like, actually indicted it, like, to be an actual thing that they wanted to do. Uh, and if they did, it, it today would have been, like, fucking hell. Um, but the league was trying to set it up to where if any parent got thrown out, the kid was pulled off of the bench and had to leave right then as well. Oh, shit, I remember you telling me that. So, in this instance... It's technically an endangerment to the kid. Right, even though there are four coaches that are all, like had background checks and all this other stuff. And granted, a background check doesn't mean shit. Uh, but at the same time, like, you have four adults that are watching the kids that, for the love of God, my parents would drop me off and drive away and do shit with my coaches because that's the way most parents are, is, like, we got shit to do, you got shit to do, like, you do what you do, we, we'll, we'll do what we do. You know? Yeah. Now, like, at really young age, yeah, my parents stuck around for all of it. Uh, it's here. Ooh, I see a boom before. Uh, oh, shit. Um. I murdered it. But it is one of those, like, Yeah, I'm not saying the coaches should take the kids home, but the coaches can definitely watch after the kids until the kids walk outside where their parents are waiting. Uh, so, I, I'm not a firm believer in this uh, weird thing that they're wanting to push. You know? Yeah, it sounds a little fucking almost tree huggy. Um. Now the other thing is, is what they were attempting to do was. Uh, oh shit! I actually got that. Nice. Was control the like if the parents know that they're gonna get get their kid kicked out, it's supposed to do the whole like. The parent's going to be more responsible. We see where that goes. Parents responsible. Is that Campbell Crate or uh, Ammo Crate? Uh, supply Crate. I'll take it. Um, and, and it is, it's one of those that, like, the parents, yeah, the parents do need to be responsible and need to not be, like, jackasses. But I, I I can't control parents. And I don't want to punish the kids for parents being dumbasses, although it sometimes happens. Yeah. Um, but the next thing on that also comes to the point 
And, and don't get me wrong, I do see the side of like the uh, like if the parent gets ejected, um, the kid doesn't have anybody there that they know, and blah 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 blah. blah. But the other thing is, is like yesterday, I I heard that there was actually like a fight amongst the parents. This is where the kid probably did need to go with the parents. Uh, is the parents getting arrested? The fuck? And it was the same team, one of the same teams. Uh, it was the Bulls and somebody, some other team that was at the round robin. Um, that the parents had the the parents fought at. <laughs> But, um, one of the things I, I've stated, you know, one of the reasons I don't like repping where the Bulls play at in their city is, one, they've stiffed me, and two, the parents are that bad. Well, if the parents are that bad when they're away from their hometown, and, like, what, what are they going to be like... Are we passing it right now? Yeah, we are. It's on there. Uh, there's a, uh, there's a sloop to our left. Um, what are the parents gonna be like? If, uh... If they're at their hometown, you know? They're complete and total jackasses, and they're willing to fight people. Slash, one of them tried to fight an official yesterday. Uh, and the one that attempted to fight an official yesterday is also a dude that I have kicked out of uh, multiple games, and I remembered him. Uh, and he actually kept his mouth shut today, which I was fucking surprised. I think I remember, I, it's funny, because I know I think roughly which one you're talking about. Because you've told me, like, oh, I pretty much shat on this one dude. Yeah. <laughs> well, like, okay, so the last time that I kicked him out, um, he straight up told my partner. And my partner, this was one of his first times to ever ref with me. My partner, he straight up told my partner, yeah, last year, uh, I had a game, and this official kicked me out because um, I argued with him from being in the... Uh, and he was in the penalty box when he argued with me the last time. Well, again, he's in the penalty box again tonight, or today. So it's one of those, I'm like... And th that time he was in the penalty box, too, and I kicked him out that week, too. So, like, I've already kicked him out of two games from him being in the penalty box with me. You know, being my penalty box operator. Because he wants to, like, be an ass. Um. So I guess he already figured out who I was. And it was the whole, like, well, I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. Because the last time his wife chewed his ass... When he got kicked out. <laughs> but he attempted to fight an official yet uh, the day before. And I was like, for the love of God, like, do you, are you so much of a jackass that you have to, uh, just always cause problems like what what is it what is it that you have to be this much of an ass okay can i dock the fucking rowboat for the love of god thank you are we still on this island or not no. nope we're not Might be this little guy right next to me. That's what I'm thinking. I'm hoping it is. Let's put it that way. But, I mean, but, so, the Bulls city is having trouble finding officials. 
And and I've stated it more than once. The reason you're having trouble finding officials is you run them off. One, the previous management, because they've got new management, the previous management weren't paying their officials properly. Uh, two, your parents are so fucking bad, nobody wants to, like, they don't want to deal with it. And you can't get new officials there because, like, your first game as a kid, you know, I, most officials start when they're 16, you know, 16, 17. That's about the time frame that you'll get a kid interested in officiating. Um, sometimes it's in their early 20s. Well, either one of those, if your first game is parents fucking, like, telling you you're an asshole and that... It, you're fucking horrible and all this other shit like they did me today. Uh, you don't want to fucking deal with it. And you, you do one game and you're done. We're going to kill this captain. Oh, wait, no, that's not a captain. That's a uh, crawler. It's not this island. Keep going. I thought it was a captain. I was like, yeah, we'll get off and kill a captain. I will not get off to uh, deal with crawlers. Fuck that shit. Killed it for us, though. <laughs> but I mean, like, it, and this is that it is the thing that, like, it's like I said, USA Hockey is really pushing about the abuse of official stuff. It's because you guys don't. You guys aren't. You guys don't deserve to be caring out on like a fucking restaurant employee either. Just not this, not saying the restaurant employees deserve it either. But, no. You know, nobody fucking deserves to be caring out on it. It's like fuck that shit. It exactly. Doesn't if you're getting paid. It doesn't matter if you're getting paid fucking per game or per hour. Fuck that shit. You don't deserve that fucking shit at all. Well, I mean for. For younger kids, it basically is, like, the way that it works out for us most of the time is basically being paid per hour. So, like, when... Today, in an example of, like, men's league hockey. Men's league hockey, the games last one hour and five minutes. Basically an hour. Uh, it's on the close end of this island. I, um... I get paid $45 per men's league game that I do. Which, the men's league is just as bad. Like, the difference between the men's league and the kids is the kids don't ever, like, the kids are normally good. Uh, I just have to deal with parents and shitty coaches sometimes. Men's league, you just have the, the players are just assholes. Um, which, when a player is an asshole, all you have to do is basically tell them, uh, hey, guess what? You go go bye-bye. Go back to your locker room. And I don't have to deal with them anymore. And it, the trouble is taken care of. When a parent is the trouble, it's a total different story, you know? Yeah. Is it this island? I think it is. What color is that? Uh, I think the mermaid's a blue. Yeah, this gunpowder kick got a fucking way of our shit. Yeah, the mermaid below you is blue, so like... <clears throat> do you want to do the island or do you want to kill the mermaid? I'll do the island. Okay. There's a chest on the island. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna grab the chest and then I'm gonna like kill the mermaid. Now, like, I could use the that that boom barrel. I got like four fucking phantoms chasing me now. Oh, cute.
Good fucking god, dude. The Phantoms, it, it's, it's, it wasn't four, it's like six. And they are all just lined up on the fucking dock staring at me. And shooting at me with fucking pistols. I found another boom boy if you want it. Oh no, I'm gonna be... Take your pop shots. I just killed all of them. Keep the boom barrel just in case we have uh, wonderful uh, stragglers coming over to uh, like fuck with us in a minute. Um. No. Oh. With that? Yep, coming for you. Thanks, sir. Did you already dig up the uh, thing? Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't see if the next one was on this island, though. It is. Definitely not on this island. Well, well we get the uh, X in this. Cool. Uh, we got the Reapers is at Reapers, and they're level 2 now. Cool, because of the things that wanders. Yep, that's why I said oh, that. Wow. Uh, I, I saw that one before. When I, I knew when we first got the, when we got the first piece, and I was like, ooh, yay. Yeah, I did the same thing. So, if they're at Reapers, that means we should be able to see them from the island. I'm going to go take a the nice. The nice thing is, is that the big spot is on their blind spot. Yeah, but I'm going to take a, a, a look to see what they are. To see whether we want to chance this or not. Because if we don't... Yeah. Because if it's a galley, it's going to be more risky. If it's a sloop, meh. Yeah, if it's a galley, I want to, like, probably go drop our thing uh, before we... Do, uh... do a, dri a drive-by, drop the robot, keep going. Because you know that we could probably have you go to, like, we can drop the robo, dig it up, and go and meet back at like Golden Sands or something. Cause it's gonna be at uh It's a probably gonna be the it's probably gonna be a crescent, dude. It's a brig. Okay. So medium difficulty. Medium to hard. Uh, let's attempt it. Yeah, it's better than waiting, or, as I said, it's the, you can also just drop a rare boat, you go to, like, you drive the golden sands, and I just row, row, row my boat back to golden sands. Yo, drop sails. Dude, this rock formation just like so fucked with me. Like when I got to the 
to a spot where I can look at it. I was looking at the rock formation. I was like, uh, so it should be over there. I don't see any ship. That rock formation is the rock formation we fucking known and loved for fucking three years. No, oh, I know. Dude, I love the fact. Hey, Dasagi. Uh, MRP, how are you doing? Sorry that I uh, just now noticed you, MRP. I've we've been sort of chatting and going on and on about hockey and whatnot for the bullshittery. Um, but no, like I don't, He's I don't not know. Sorry. Do what? He's not sorry. Yeah, uh, yeah. I have a soundbite that 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 proves that too. <laughs> Back. I haven't used that in a while. Uh, I used it normally right before I uh, ban somebody. It's basically the ban soundbite. <laughs> Which typically is a bot that's getting banned here recently, but like, yeah. I love it. Ooh, we got glitters. Oh, shinies. Fuck! Is it worth it at all? Did I come back for that? It's a T and a sapphire. Uh, no. Not when we're like... Because if we turn oh. around, we'll be notice uh, more noticeable. Yeah, we're in hoarder mode. Oh, by the way, uh, Nasagi says hi, Corb. What's up, Nasagi? Is there a fuck you, Corb, after that? No, nah, it's, it's a bitch. Tell, oh, the okay. bi <clears throat> tell the bitch known as Corb. Yeah, that's more correct. Anyway. Sail up. Okay. It's near the palm tree. Yeah. Higher. No, it's it's down on the beach. So now, we take it. Did they drop us anything? I don't see anything. Those fox. Phantom. Ninety nine, bro. This vault's gonna get me it. If it does not, I will be thoroughly just surprised. Oh, I know. Now let's get the fuck out of the line of sight. We're just gonna head dead west.
And I know, like, for those that watch this, whether you're watching on YouTube or whatever, I know, like, I bitch about the same things over and over about hockey. Um, but it is. That's... The... At this point, I've been refing hockey for so long that, like, the parents are the problems. There's nothing else I can say about that other than the parents need to, like... Should be one of the crotchety old parents at this point. I mean, dude, <laughs> I, I'm still like, I'm still undecided if I ever want kids. Like, I have, I, I don't have kids, and I'm at that point where I've got to make a decision, you know. And I still don't know. I really don't. Okay, we don't have a Reapers on anymore. I don't know whether they took their flag down or what. They probably cashed out for a quick. Honestly, dude, when I had just one, it was not that bad. But in the same sense, I understand. And I understand your current life. life. So, well, it's... so, so I've got a couple of different problems. Like one, I've got like family things where I'm dealing with a lot of medical issues, not mine, but family's medical issues. Yeah. Uh, two, I'm not as financially sound as I would like to be to have a kid. Most people aren't, but that's beside the point. <laughs> Um, um, I was about to say, let's put it this way, when it comes to kids, people always want to be more financially sound, but they will never be that ideal. Yeah. Um, Take a look at me. Then again, I'm also under a roof that I totally didn't think I would ever be able to attain. Yeah. Due to my freaking crazy ass school debt. So, hi. I'm a weird anomaly. But, I mean, there's so many things like that. And there's other factors that are in there. and it, But it is one of those, like, I don't, I don't know. Like, I don't even know if I want kids, like I said, because it's that awkward... I've gone this long without like, getting one. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I, I've witnessed you talk on a regular basis. I was gonna say, don't use my kids as a form of contraception. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, your kids and like a bunch of my other friends' kids, that is exactly, uh, uh as, I, as I said, one. <laughs> and I'm glad my wife is asleep for this. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't want to shit. What is my ideal number? <laughs> Holy <Yeah>. shit. <laughs> oh, that statement there. Yep. But, but oh well. But I mean... It, it's, happens. Yeah, but anyways, like, <laughs> so for me, I'm, I'm, not, I've not, I'm not that parent that like, and I don't think I even would be that parent that was like up a referee's asshole, um, not in the manner of like, I did your job. Put your fucking crayons down. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. It, Okay, so, like, I would be the parent that would be more like... Like, there's a guy that I officiate. He has kids. He is an official as well. His kids are, like, 15 now, I think. Um, so they're in the older range of, like, hockey. And they've been playing for a while. But he's the type of parent I think I would probably be, which is the, like... I've taught my kid, you know, if my kid is playing a sport that I know. I've taught my kid the rules. And 
I would be the guy that would come up to the official afterwards and be like, Hey! You fucking blew that. How many... Oh, no, no. How, how many penalties did my kid get? Did he rightfully deserve them? And that that's a question that this guy gives me on a regular basis. Or was it something stupid? Um, and I go, what do you mean by stupid? He goes, well, was it because of... Because he got... The last time that he asked me that, the kid got a roughing call. And he goes, did he rightfully deserve it? Or was it because of size difference? Because his kid is, like, massive compared to some of the other kids. And I said, you know me. I don't call, like, bullshit calls like that. And he goes, well, the last three cities we've gone to, they call these, like, hicky tack bullshit calls because he's so much bigger than everyone else they're just giving him calls of roughing uh when he just because like he's a, because he's a fucking brick wall right and i'm like no dude like your kid actually extended his arms and like threw a kid down he goes oh okay yeah that <laughs> that's a good call and i'm like dude like and i don't get it there are definitely parents that don't understand that. Or not parents, but referees. Um, no, 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 you are good, sir. Well, I just found us rum bottles that go to Sanctuary, so... Oh, we're catching on Sanctuary. Yep. Um, and I don't get how referees don't understand um, that aspect of it. Unless they're just younger referees. But I've heard, like, I've actually heard and witnessed this of where I go and ref with a, go into another city and officiate. And they make a call and I'm like, the kid didn't do anything. He didn't deserve that roughing call. And they're like, no, no, he like, he hit him. And it's like, no, dude, like, he was going to play the puck. He's allowed to, like, play the puck. There is body contact in hockey. Even in a non-checking age group, there is body contact. Uh, and he's allowed to basically bump the kid. Just because he's bigger means that the, the smaller kids are going to fall. And the unfortunate part of that is that's exactly what ends up happening. But there's actually a clause in our like write-up. It's at the very beginning of our... It's like page two of our book that says you are not to give an unfair advantage to a player or punish a player for using his speed or height or weight difference to obtain uh, possession of the puck. AKA, if the kid is bigger and a smaller kid bounces off of him, you're not supposed to punish the bigger kid because he's just bigger. You know? Dude, there are two rowboats side by side over here. The hell? Uh, there's also an ammo crate over here. Ooh, what's these? There's something else on the beach. By the way, that cat that has been over the house for the past 48 hours. Nice. Uh, I got another skull that I found, and I've got skellies chasing me while I'm carrying a villainous skull around. I refuse to name it until we get a check out, Bill. I have an idea, though. Of what to name it? Yeah. Okay, let me go get this skull, because the skull's actually worth... Not a good skull, but it's worth money. Yeah, and I don't want it... I don't want it to uh, despawn when we, uh... Pass on. Is it? Uh, for the point. Do what? You know, we're gonna die in a minute, one way or another. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, it was funny because uh, this morning, like, the cat went to the door with Kayla when she left for work and went outside. I'm about to like, break my legs in front of you. 
<laughs> nice. Seems like you're walking pretty good for broken legs. Oh, I know that. I'm surprised that I didn't break my legs there. Jesus. Ooh. There's cannonball. It was, it was so cold enough to the point where like the cat was like, "Yeah, fuck that." <laughs> so okay, let's it go. It was like, it was like two paws out, and then nope, not happening, bro. Dude, I don't blame him. I don't like going out in the cold either. Yeah, fuck it. But yeah, that's pretty funny. Every time, man. Every time. It has opened. Dude, why are we already getting a clock tick? You got a uh, badge over next to you. Yeah, I see it. I want to snag it. You want me to drop it down? Or... Yeah. There's one over. There's one. Uh, I just dropped it down. Uh, there's one over on the mast to my grab right now. Dude, I've not found another one yet. Ma I'm dropping one right now. Where's it at? Right in the front. Right, right. Right oh, there in it front is. of the... Yeah. You find the one that I dropped down. From yeah, I've got both. I've got two of them. Okay. How'd you get up where you're at? Uh, like, I don't see it. I found it. I found it. Where is it? Dude, they were all up top, dude. It's over here somewhere. I saw the glimmer. There it is. Bro. What? See where I'm at? Yeah. Right, the second stair from there. Skull chain lock. Skull. Oh, which chain is it? Uh, sideways. Okay. Dude. This one is not easy for parkour, by the way. That's it. <clears throat> you got a good bit out of that. I didn't get it good. half as much as what I wanted, but you know. Yeah. We got the big chest. That's all that really mattered. We also have a. Uh, I killed a captain, and I've got a captain's orders here, so that'll be a. Probably a chest with something in it. So while we're uh, doing that, we'll. Uh... Yeah, I'm also gonna get one more stack. Uh, I tried for one more too, but. That's all you can do. How close are you to 
100. Let's take a look, see. About halfway. Okay. Turn in might do it. A lot of Marauder's chests. Cause all the fucking captains were upstairs. Oh, wait, I didn't start dropping them until like last second. Annoying as fuck. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them all out on this uh, rock, and then I'm gonna go try to find this uh, riddle. That's fine. I'll harp them. That's all the chests. There's only like one or two trinkets. There's only one. I don't have it in my hand right now. You can say a bitch to fucking heart. I don't think we're going to get five. We might get four. I agree. At the Headless Traveler, taking shade atop the island, shine a light. God damn it. Step and seek fire barnacled pots on the east beach. Be that sea prepared to play Mary to East Beach.
At the Three Skull Totem near the tunnel entrance, your reward is almost found. Six spaces east by southeast. There's also a mermaid over here. I'll see what type it is in a second. Alright, I'm starting to taxi toward the south end, so. Oh, you've already got out everything on ship? Oh, yeah, buddy. Damn. There's a skull in the water here, too. Uh, we need to go north. Stupid big ship, I love to turn in. Uh, it's a green. So it's gonna take uh, both of us to get it. Is it just at the tip of that crescent? <coughs> yeah, pretty much. Okay. Here. Um, chest right here at the top of this rock. I cannot believe I got that in the dark. Uh, got a cargo crate. Same spot. I see something glowing off on the on the. Yeah, I didn't get that one, buddy. Okay, I'll move it in a second. I don't know what this is, but I see something glowing on the uh... dock. I'll take it. It's just a seafarer's chest, but it's gold border. But as I was saying, like, I don't know, like, because I don't have kids, I, I definitely don't have the perspective of crazy parent. Um, but. I've been an official for so long that I don't think I could be, like, that fucking horrible to officials. Because I've even officiated, like, the only sport that I've played that I've never been a uh, official or something for is uh, baseball. How did that go through me and not... Dude, I don't know. It went through, like, multiple times. It went through, like, well, the bottom one. Well, on the, on the test, it, like, you were missing it. Barely. But on me, you went through me. Okay, we'll make four, definitely. Because if this doesn't give us four once we uh, drop it on the uh, ship, I'll be surprised. Are you kidding me? I almost want to farm islands for a second. Uh, 
I heard you drop got something. Vault. Got another vault on me if you just want to do like one or two of the map pieces. Yeah, just to get four. Mm hmm. If we get close to Sanctuary, I want to. I want to go ahead and deliver those uh, rum bottles. It's here. Yeah, I'm already off ship. So there's nothing further west of here, so yeah. Oh. Hold on, I just had some skellies spawn if they uh, drop a trinket. Come on, one trinket. Yes. I'd never been so happy to see an opulent carrier. Or a silver cup. It's, um. Opulent Curio. It's really sad as so it's just like the default in my head. <laughs> my bitch. By the way, that's a long time. Oh! Hold on, there's another piece over here? Yes, there is. My turn. Yeah, I was about to say, if we can get the, uh, where the X is, I, I don't mind taking the, uh, key and just selling the key. Doing, doing an expedited match. Yeah. Get the key and fucking be done with it, you know? Yeah. Because we don't have to do the vault. We can turn the key in for money. You know what? That's fine, because I always forget about that. There we go, That's got right. it. So when we sail by Sanctuary, we'll uh, do the jump off with the uh, rum bottles. Come 
I could have been such a dick because I could put us in the wind and all sorts of things. Yeah, I didn't play it. I've been like motherfucker. I would have just honestly read the whole way. Munching on bananas, yeah. That is. Just, it looks like it's just outside the, uh. Cemetery? Yeah. Like between the cemetery and the camp. Hey, do you want to get another map piece? Is it there? It's this next little tiny island. That just gets us further to five. That's what I was thinking too. <laughs> I mean, it gets us to five, we get two and a half times fucking multiplier, so. I came over to fucking kill skellies, and of course, none of them. So, look, what the hell are you killing? Chickens. What's in here? What's here in surplus? On hmm. Sailor's Bounty. Uh, that'll be, uh, Nick. Uh, tomorrow? Does that start tomorrow? Oh, the food thing? Yeah. Yeah, probably tomorrow. Uh, November 22nd. So yeah, Monday. Oh, I misjudged my jump. That time I got it. Any treasure in these barrels? Nope, just barrels. Barrels of plenty. The moments where you wish to find a fucking map. Oh no. I don't want a map. I wanted a uh, like gem or something like that. Oh, so got a decoration from my office. Oh yeah. Yeah. We went to GameStop the other day. They had a fucking Legend of Zelda stocking. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's it's like the the eight bit Zelda stitched on, and it's just it's got like the Triforce pieces, uh, the hearts, rubies, all that shit. Like nice. Yeah. 15 bucks, I think. That's not bad. No, oh, dude. So, this is the first year I have a tree in my house in I don't know how long. Because uh, the girl wanted one. Yeah. <clears throat> and 
her family had the same tradition my family did, which is you get a, an ornament every year for the tree. So she was yeah. like, go pick your ornament. And like, we went to uh, two or three places, and uh, Walmart had an NES controller ornament. Hey, so that was mine a couple years ago. So that was, yeah, that's what I picked out. I don't know what my mine was last year. Well, uh, are you gonna jump overboard or me? Uh, I can do it. Don't jump yet, but prep yourself. I am good to go. I'm gonna get you as close as I can to the, um... What's this going to? Wendy. Off you go. Sir? That way, if we get into any combat or anything like that, we're already, like... The the broken valuables are gone. <laughs> yeah. The breakables are all shit. I also figured that selling that would help boost you towards the hundred. Yeah, I'm almost there. I'm at like a little under a quarter now. Nice. Do you have to complete 100 or is 100 capped off? That's it. Capped off. Okay, cool. If I mean worst case scenario, I mean Fernand will get me that at that point. Thanks. I figured we'd be pumpkin brothers in a minute. Okay soon. Take these chicken some things to be oh apparently. Wait. Did the X move? The so X. It, it, yeah, it, looks it like moved inward. Because now it's like the north side of the uh, cemetery. cemetery instead of like on the uh, west side. Okay, I got some trinkets. Three. 
Okay, so I need you here because I can't get all these trinkets into the, uh, thing. That was a big boom. Yeah, it's nice. It's pretty. There's a little two boom barrels there. Did you pick up the last one? I don't know where it's at. Oh, there it is. There you go. I got it. We're gonna check to see if there's a, a chest, like, you know, randomly a chest in the cemetery like there normally is. Cemetery at a camp, usually. Or the cave. Oh my god, we are so close. What island is the uh, stupid key for? That's it. Okay. Give me just a second. I'm listening for mermaids as I run around the beach. Great, great. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Fuck the fruit crate, I want that. No, if I can find a uh, mermaid, mermaid will get us definitely at this point. If this doesn't. Oh! <laughs> that damn son of a bitch. What's the mermaid I find be like a, a red? There's something shiny over there. Over where? Where the ammo crate is. Uh, go look for, at what it is. I'm over. I'm going into the cave. Here's a hit 
Did this as soon as it hits the ship, we got it. What'd you it's a sea it's a seafarer's chest. <laughs> oh my god. I got a crate of silks coming up on the back side of the ship. Give us another win. Hmm. Not too bad, man. Not too bad. No, getting getting level five. Uh this will be a good payout. Actually yeah, surprised yeah. that uh I love the etchings and shit on her spyglass. Oh yeah. I just dude I'm telling you, like come up here and look through it at like even just looking at the at the outpost. Dude, the only thing that doesn't change color is the shit for Teodama's height. It's still fucking blue. Yeah, but it's still, like, fucking horrible.
big boys off ship finally. Two more chest expansion tributes. Always for that tier. I say we uh, raise the uh, flag for Order of Souls for like half a second for these skulls. You know? Yeah, I don't blame you. Dude, I wish we had time for that. Yeah. So I think we only need one of those chests that's got trinkets and all in it to come back um, for the skulls. Sounds good to me. That is still one. So what I'll do is I'll empty this one and bring it back and get the skulls prepped. I'm gonna have the skull sitting in front of her. Uh, you know what we need to do before we log off? What? Um, full pumpkin stuff, like the pumpkin sword, pumpkin gun, and then put the pumpkin ship up. Even the next time we're gonna be able to wear this is going to be uh... a year from now. Yup. You have. You already have the chest, right? Yeah, go ahead, so. Ooh, I wish I would have seen how much that key sold for.
I know it doesn't sell for enough to like account for all the chests and all you can get out of it, but like my curiosity. I think it's four thousand. I can't remember. Is that everything? Yeah, the other thing is going down there. Uh... I've already voted to lower. I forgot this thing doesn't have cannons. Dumb. Uh, drop the sail. I still love the fact that the uh, wheel is a scarecrow. Yeah. I like the sails, too. Hey. Fucking... Scythe sword. Congratulations, we made it to a hundred. We both made it to a hundred. Oh, I know. Now, I do like the fact that the showboat cutlass allows you to keep your cutlass. Your weapon. Yeah. Are there any other, um... jack o and stuff? I don't think so. I think you got all of it. Blunderbuss. Cutlass. Yeah. Wait. First Adventures Cutlass. I mean, one of each weapon, of course. I 
That's it. Okay. Yeah. And then the rest of it was the webbed uh, outfit. Oh, the jack-o'-lantern, uh, tail. The banjo of banishment. Oh, that's my banjo right now. I didn't even realize I had that. Well, it's about that time for this to come back out. Mm. Which it now has an emote too. <laughs> That's hilarious. I love how 90% of my stuff is like, so I got the Jack-O-Lantern, I got the Crimson Crypt, I got Dark War Smith, Soul Fling Captain, like, most of it is uh, dark and dreary. And then, like, the two Santa outfits. And then, of course, the outfits for, like, all of the... Um... Yeah. I don't remember getting the Shrouded Ghost Hunter costume. I don't remember what I did to get those. Oh, I know. It's time to get thanks, bitches. Oh. <laughs> that pistol was such a crappy pistol. Did I get that pistol? I did. I gave it. And then here's the... Got a little bow on it. Ho ho, motherfucker. Well, uh... Do we want him to have a, uh... Dude, I'm gonna have to get some, like, festive ass shit. Like a brighter color. I forget, was there a festive ship? I don't think I liked their festive thing, so I didn't really get it. Can't remember though. Might have to be like the Wild Rose or something like that. The Morning Star dress attire that they gave out because it's green and it's like that sea foam green. Red. There you go. I got the festive ship out. Uh, 
Oh, the ice one. Oh, I actually forgot about this fucker. I did too until I was like, what? What, uh. What festive ship do I have? <laughs> But, alright, dude. There we go. Uh, Santa Claus on an ice ship. Sounds about right. Well, Krampus on an ice ship. Come on, come on. Come here, come here. And, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'm sure there's another ship, but I don't, I think that was the, like, closest that came to being festive. So that'll be another one. I mean, yeah, they'll probably make one for this year. Um, because I'm looking at them right now. Nightshine Parrot. Ancestral Hall, Mayhem, Flight of Duke, Ghost Hunter, yeah, it looks like that's the it. The Silver Blade, maybe. But I mean, I wouldn't even call that festive. Anyways. As always, thank you, Cord, for coming and playing with me. You're welcome. You're going to be entertained by the Discord when you, uh... When I get added to it? Oh, God. When you get... When you switch over. Um... I want to thank everybody else for coming out and watching. Uh, thanks for coming and listening to uh, me uh, talk about hockey and, you know, this and that and everything else. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, you know what in the world to do. All that, like, fancy jazz that everybody else tells you what to do. And if you're new to the late night streams, we end all the late night streams with a page from Go the Fuck to Sleep. Tonight's page, page number seven. The cubs and the lions are snoring, wrapped in a big snuggly heap. How come you can do all this other great shit, but you can't lie the fuck down and sleep? I'm Shinigami Tabris. I hope you have a wonderful day or wonderful night wherever you are. And until next time, everyone, peace. Out.